We're here with Mac McMillan, Chairman and CEO of Synergistic. And Mac, we wanted to talk to you today about the status of IT, security, and healthcare. Okay. Can you give us an update? Yeah, uh, I think if you look at IT, security, and healthcare today as, as opposed to where it was you know, five years ago, 10 years ago, when HIPAA came into, into play, uh, it's, it's much healthier. You know, we still have a long ways to go. There's still a lot of areas that, that we need to address. Obviously, for smaller hospitals, it's still very much a challenge for them uh, financially to, to integrate a lot of security technologies into their environments. But most of our large hospitals today have security organizations. They have the basic fundamentals of information security in place. Uh, they're beginning to look at, look at the areas of integrating those different technologies, at least on the information security side. Um, and I'd say overall, it's, you know, healthcare today is, is much better off than it was five years ago, but certainly we've still got a ways to go. Got you. Uh, you know, from an incident response situation, where are we today? <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good question. And I'm assuming you're probably addressing a lot of the breaches that you see in the media and whatnot. Certainly. And, and the fact of the matter is, from an incident response perspective, we're still behind the times. Uh, a lot of our environments today in healthcare still are not what I call proactively monitoring what's going on in their environment. They're not anticipating uh, events before they actually happen. And so a lot of times what ends up, what's, what happens on the bad side is they end up escalating to more, more than they could have been had somebody identified it earlier, you know, saw that aberrant behavior, saw that anomaly and reacted to it. Uh, but a lot of that's because we don't have a lot of a lot of detection, if you will, going on in healthcare today yet. We have roughly, so if you believe the studies, we have roughly 60% of our healthcare organizations that have implemented things like IDS and log monitoring, et cetera. But then we have less than 20% of them that are that are monitoring those things in an automated fashion. And so anybody that knows anything about IDS and log monitoring, et cetera, knows that if you're trying to monitor a large IT environment manually, you're behind the power curve before you ever get started. So a lot of their monitoring is very reactive still. Uh, it's very key to, to key personalities or key situations uh, that they tend to, to, to know about or recognize, uh, as opposed to actively monitoring what everybody's doing in the environment at all times. Gotcha. You know, when you look back at uh, the changes in the healthcare world, HIPAA obviously was the, the number one thing that I can think of that impacts our business. In terms of its overall impact, uh, was it successful? Has it really made a positive difference? What do you think? Um, I think so. When I look back at look back at at uh, where we've been, where we are today, I think that I think that healthcare is doing a better job today. Like I said, of protecting their environments, protecting their systems, protecting patient information. They're much more aware of it, certainly, um, and it absolutely was necessary. Um, but it's like anything else, you know, when, when I think back to, to when the banking industry regulated itself uh, or the government regulated it back in the 80s, I mean, it wasn't until, until the late 90s that we actually had some kind of a, a, a minimal baseline, a minimal baseline that was established out there in, in, in the banking industry with respect to security. It took a while for the industry to mature. Healthcare is in that same evolutionary phase, if you will. And, and they've got a ways to go before they get to the point where across the board we've got a good solid baseline. 